Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a tables match, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challengers. First on the left is the brand new Target Exclusive Hall of Champions, WrestleMania 21 Batista Elite. And to my right over here is my custom Elite WrestleMania 21 Batista that I have had for around two years now. What we will do is conduct a comparison between the two figures and the loser will be Batista Bomb through the table you see presented in front of you. What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Name Toys video. As you did here, we are going to be doing a comparison between the Mattel Products Batista right here going one on one with my custom Elite WrestleMania 21 Batista on the right here and I am very excited for this matchup. I'm going to take you through both figures, compare them, you know, head scans, paint apps, every single thing, parts choice, every single thing that we can cover to compare these guys. We're going to put them through it to see who the ultimate Batista is from that moment in his career. Again, like you heard, we will be putting the loser through the table with a Batista bomb. So let's go ahead and conduct this challenge. It is for the World Heavyweight Championship. All right, guys, so starting things off, when comparing these two figures, you will notice that the head scans are not completely the same. Um, I did not get this Elite originally on the right with this head scan. I did have to get a WrestleMania Heritage Batista and pop it on the Elite 2 Batista body. So that is what you're seeing here. As you can see, the hair color of the custom is black, and the uh, hair color on the official Mattel is like a darkish brown. And I think the darkish brown is more accurate. However, I think I like the look of the darker like black color um, more when I'm looking at the figures and the head scans are not completely the same I think I like the one on the right better. It's like a more menacing face if you guys can tell um, I think I am going to say that the head scan I'm gonna go with the custom the custom is slightly better and um, So I, I like the shape of it too like you can kind of tell the shape there I kind of am liking the custom head more so I am gonna go with the custom is up one to zero here with the head scans up next, we're going to get into the torsos here, and if you can tell, at first glance, I thought these things were the exact same, but if you look at it better, I think this one is slightly wider, and you can see that it sits a bit lower here. So, if you look here, you can see all three abs pretty good. On this one, it's like two and a half abs, if you're seeing that, and it is a little bit wider in the chest, I believe. Like, this is more like circular, and this is more like uh, dented there. It makes sort of like a triangle-looking pattern, and I think I like the custom more when it comes to the, uh, the chest options. I think this is more accurate to Batista's actual torso. So I'm going to go custom again on this one. So the custom has an early 2-0 lead. Not looking good for Mattel right now, but it is very early right now. So who knows who's going to take it. But right now the custom is up 2-0. Up next, we're going to take a look at the tattoos. As you see, the Hall of Champions is here on the left, and it's kind of hard to even dif differentiate. I feel like this one is a bit longer, but besides that, they're pretty much the same. I really can't tell a difference between these two, so what we're going to have to do is compare the back tattoo and the other shoulder tat to see who wins on the tattoos. All right, guys, so taking a look at the back tattoos here, um, I gotta say, I like the way the custom one looks, just because I think the figure is so old that it kind of fades, but there is some, like, paint missing in here, as you can tell, if you compare the two, um, the tattoo is sort of marking off, so I guess I gotta go with Mattel's in this one, you know, they printed it on there perfectly, of course, Mattel did print this one, but I feel like, um, this is a better representation of the tattoo on the back, and as we compare the two on the sides with his, uh, Chinese lettering, it may be Japanese, so I apologize, but... Um, I'm feeling this one over here. I just like the way that looks better. So I think Mattel is going to win it with the tattoos. We can look at the belly buttons here as well. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. But I am going to go with Mattel on the... Yeah, you can see, like, the, uh, the lines on the left is better. It's just more crisp looking and not as, like, faded out. So I'm going to go with Mattel on the tattoos. So now it is 2 to 1, custom leading the way. Alright guys, up next we're going to compare the Trunks decals. Which one looks more like that moment at WrestleMania 21? And I knew for a fact that Mattel was going to crush this one. You know, they have the ability, they have the connections with WWE. They can get perfect um, logos of what Batista was wearing. And that's what they did here. Um, back in the day, I don't think that there was a clear image of the uh, graphics that Batista used on his trunk. So I think we were just, you know, that we had to just go based off what we could really make out in images and, you know, videos of WrestleMania 21. So it's obvious here that Mattel crushes the custom. So the game has to be tied here. You can check on the back as well. 
that there is no comparison like Mattel's is much more cleaner a lot better looking and just way more accurate obvious because um, you know again they have connections with WWE they can get the exact logo they need so I got to go with Mattel there that ties up the game and now we're going to come down to crunch time guys it's the tiebreaker round so for the tiebreaker round guys we got to go with who has the most accurate color trunks and boots to that moment at WrestleMania 21. And at first glance, I really did not know who to go with. I had to study the pictures hard. I had to, you know, investigate, had to rewatch the match, had to make sure I had all the angles covered. And my decision and the new and crowned World Heavyweight Champion is going to be the custom. The new World Heavyweight Champion is Mattel's Hall of Champions, Batista. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do you agree with the decision of Mattel winning this thing? Let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.